So now that I put things together, now that I think, now that I put things together, it's like, oh, so you was going around, you was going around telling people that it's close to my, that I'm, and I thought that it was somebody trying to be messy, trying to start some between me and you, which will get you sued, and I will get every little red penny that you ever make, any money, every money that you make off your publishing, baby. So find something safe to do. You and you want to talk about you? You not Tasha K. You're right. Ask Tasha K. She tried when, when she tried to lie that on me. What happened? Ask her. Ask her. You're not Tasha K. You're actually dumb. But if you have a tape on somebody, why warn them? Drop this. Sh I mean, Jason Lee is back at it again, revealing the truth about the Cardi secret side piece this time. At first, many people believed that Offset was the only reason for their divorce. To be fair, this is not too far from the truth because he is a shameless cheater who is not even good at it. However, not too long ago, there were rumors that Card was getting her back blown out by another man because she was tired of being played by Offset. Even further, the D-list rapper Bia claimed to possess an explicit tape of Card having an affair because they thought she was merely attempting to harm Card's reputation rather than Card's messy BFF. People at the time did not believe her. Before we dive into the specifics of this mess, let us just say that Jason Lee did not refute the allegations in his recent speech on the subject. Let me provide you with some background. As I mentioned earlier, these claims that Cardi B was cheating were actually initiated by Bia during an online feud that began a few months ago. Although Cardi and Bia have been dread attacking each other for a while now, their relationship reached a new height a few months ago when Cardi B sampled Missy Elliott's song She Is A Bee for her song Like What Freestyle. People began comparing Cardi's flow and delivery to Bia as soon as they heard her song, because, as previously mentioned, Bia sampled Missy's She Is A Bee last year, and the flow that Cardi used in her version sounded a lot like Bia's flow. When one of B's fans posted side-by-side -side snippets of both B's and Card's songs and commented that B was clearly on Card's mood board, B responded with these emojis. Card was not amused by the antics and checked B for even putting herself through this mess in the first place make a fool of themselves every single time I MMA show you something when I release this song though. And she was not lying when she claimed that the week after the release of her new song Enough, the beef really took off. This song also bore a striking resemblance to a previous single by Bea called Fall. As you can already imagine, she was furious about this and began attacking Cardi again, hurling insults in her tweets. She claimed, I was not really her and they imitated that it is getting weird. Ask and you shall receive. Cardi did not let this go unnoticed either. She sent us a stern warning to quit with all of this childish chaos and keep her name out of the public eye, or else she would reveal some information about Bia that might destroy her career. This too, them, <laughs> them conversations is embarrassing. You gonna look crazy if I drop these conversations. Stop testing me. Stop trying me. You got my number. Stop doing internet. Cause once I start doing internet, it's not gonna be funny, you Now this was sufficient to stop Bia from acting out on the internet for a few days, but after a few weeks, she resumed her behavior when she started trolling Cardi for breaking down on live over Offset. And this girl on Twitter, she subbed me. She threw me a little sub on Twitter and everything, and I ignored it because it's a sub with no name. So it's like, I'm just gonna ignore you. Um, I don't know why she would be upset about that because so many people have sampled that beat. Flo Millie, uh, the guy, the boy named Slim Goss, that he sampled the beat. But you know, the girl subbed me because she thinks that I probably copied her because she got a song out with the same beat. But that's why I put on my Instagram channel the day that I did the song. I did the song last year, early. All right, whatever. I ignored that, right? Then the second time that she subbed me, she did, she, I don't, she subbed me, but my name was included in it. I don't know if somebody tagged me and she responded to it. Now that my name is in it, now that my name is in it, now you, you, you addressing me. So when you address me and it's not a sub, I'm going to address you. So I got her number. I got her number and I called her, right? I called her and I recorded it because you, you just never know what these, I recorded it. And I'm not even gonna lie, the conversation started very nasty. It started very nasty, very aggressive. 
I was coming at her and she was coming at me. But then I called her back because I called her back because I, and look, I ain't, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I got the whole conversation. I could put the whole 35 minutes up. Like I had the whole conversation. Because you saying that I'm copying you. And also, also, this my thing though, right? Yeah. No, this my the thing. conversation started real nasty, right? It started real nasty. After this came to light, Cardi attempted to ignore it at first. But then she ended up clapping back in her verse for the remix of Megan The Stallion and Glow Real Song Wannabe. She said, I guess I am a teacher since you want to sub me. She had no idea that she was on the top shelf of Ikea. I hope she talks like that when I see her, and I hope that nobody wants to be her. She then went on a Twitter rant saying, I do not see the cap I go Ray Charles blind bees as whack bees as trash I should hang bees right over my knee the way I'd be putting my belt to they behind. At this point, Cardi was fed up and took to Instagram to fully address everything she had received, including receipts for messages, photos, phone calls, and timestamps for everything. I called her back because I'm so appalled at the fact that she thinks that I'm copying her or that I'm stealing from her. Cause there's nothing that she do that I that I like. I don't like her music, I don't like her style, I don't like how she look, I don't like nothing about her. I don't even see the so it's like more or less. But the conversation, I called her back. I called her back. Cause I wanted to make it very clear. Like, cause that girl, when I did my first song, like what? I been did it before you put it out. And then uh, enough, where she thinks that I copy her ad libs and whatever the f something with the beat. It's like, girl, this is the day that I, I wanted, I called her and we ended up the conversation on a very great note. We ended the conversation on a great note. So I sent her, I don't know if y'all see this. The date is, April 14, 2022. This is when I first received um, the beat for Enough, right? And I sent it to her. So this is when I first received the beat for um, Enough. And this is when I first recorded. I, don't make fun of me, y'all. I sounded chopped. I was putting the words on it, so I sound crazy. I recorded enough. I recorded enough on... May 18, 2022. I want y'all to see the date. I recorded enough May 18. The first time I ever put my vocals, May 18, 2022. You know i really wanted to prove to her that like yo i never copied you i never anything so you know on that conversation we ended up very well she told me like what was her issues with me and i told her like well i never really have an issue with you and whatever the conversation ended up great it started off nasty and then it ended great all right cool so fast forward the enough the enough um video came out she subbed me again after we just spoke a couple of days ago, like a couple of days ago, she subbed me again and she's claiming that like I copied a music video of hers and she posted the music video. Now, I'm actually going to show you my creative mood board that I did with Patience because I want to prove to y'all that like everything that she claimed that I copied her from, I been did the songs and I would, when it comes to style, video, anything, I would never copy you, girl. I ain't, I'm not you. Never you put out, she put out this remix song and everything, and she threw slugs at me at the song, and it's like, oh, that's what you wanted to do. Okay, now I see, that's what you wanted to do. You wanted some type of beef with me. That's what you wanted, okay. So, I know that too. You got your 10,000 streams. Congratulations, good for you. I ignored it, I whatever. And I wanna make this very clear. Cardi said that she first contacted Bia through her manager because Bia believed she was attempting to copy her. However, after a few exchanges, 
Cardi understood that Bia was simply trying to start a messy feud. It was never about a misunderstanding, rather. Bia wanted the feud on purpose so she could be mentioned in the blogs. No, she's me and Offset's friend. She's me and Offset's friend, and she hit somebody up from my team, like, yo. She hit somebody up from my team, like, yo, um, there's this rumor going around that there's like a, a tape of Cardi, like a tape of Cardi. And I was like, me? Impossible, impossible. There's n there's none. I'll pay, I told him like, it's like a tape of me. I'll pay somebody a million dollars cash. I wouldn't even wire it. I'll cash it. Don't even send it to my phone. Don't send it to my phone. Put it on social media. Put it out, put it out. Cause I know me, y'all know me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, whatever. So then, I'm like, that. I wanna talk, I, I, I hit up the girl myself, and I'm like, yo, where's this rumor coming from? And it's like, yeah, it's coming from Shorty. It's coming from her. And it's like, huh? So I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, yeah, she showed the video to this producer that he's very close to Offset, like, they're like this. And that she saw, and she showed it to another rapper. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. So I called the producer, but he talked to Offset, and he told Offset, I ain't seen the video, but Shorty's saying that she got some shit on your and if your, your girl, like, replied back, like, like to whatever the put out, she's gonna post the video, so I'm like, all right, whatever. So I called the rapper, too, and the rapper is like, I ain't never heard nothing. So I'm like, you know what? I'ma just keep it professional, and I'ma get to the thick of it, because I wonder if, like, I was wondering if it's, like, if it's, like, a rumor that somebody's making up because this is where the controversy surrounding Cardi's alleged sexual encounter with a man blowing her back arises. It seems that Bia had been spreading rumors about Cardi's infidelity to Offset, claiming to have a video of Cardi and the stranger acting inappropriately in bed. Furthermore, according to Cardi, Bia had also informed people that the man Cardi was having an affair with was one of Offset's homeboys. However, as you may know, Cardi does not take these lawsuits lightly. So if she continues to spread false information about her, Cardi may file a lawsuit for defamation of character. Because you know, everybody knows that me and her are like not in the greatest, in the greatest thing. So I don't know if there's like a rumor that people's making up trying to be messy between me and her. So I got to the thick of it and I got my manager, call her manager and I'm gonna show y'all. Cause I don't, I don't play that. Somebody, a, a messy, messy person from Atlanta. I feel like, you know, so, ooh, whew, I'm gonna show y'all naked pictures of me. So, whole point is, right, I was trying to get to the bottom of it. I want to know if she's saying it, or I want to know if it's somebody from, you know, just trying to be messy. So, it was like, okay, I, I feel like maybe it was somebody trying to be messy, but I find it very weird because the producer is standing 10 toes down that she told him some about me. And it's like, hmm, saying that ain't adding up. Like, I don't like this. Like, but now that I see the, t the fake diss record that you trying to put out, that was you all along. And it's like, this is my thing, right? There's so many people on Twitter say so many. That was essentially a last warning to Bia, and it worked because she has not said anything about Cardi since. However, these rumors did not go away because they surfaced again following Jason Lee's recent interview. As you can see, Cardi is currently going through a very messy divorce, and at first people assumed it was only because of offsets. People are also claiming that perhaps the other reason for the divorce was probably because Cardi was also cheating back, and that the claims that Bia made about Cardi were true. Relentless cheating, as I previously stated, undoubtedly played a role in their divorce, but it does not seem to be the only reason. Cardi herself confirmed this in the divorce filing when she said it had nothing to do with cheating. Having an explicit tape with one of Offset's homeboys may be real, after all these rumors gained momentum, following the viral release of a clip of Jason Lee's recent interview with Vlad TV. When asked if the accusations made by B were true, he was beaten around the bush rather than answering directly. Me crazy about me. They talk about my face. They talk. I can't rap and this, this and that. You could, you could come at me at any angle. You gonna lie on my? 
you lying on my f When you lie about my f I'm gonna sue you and you gotta come with receipts. And not only, not social media receipts, you gotta come with court receipts. Cause one thing you're, gonna, you're not gonna do, you're not gonna lie on my and you're not gonna lie about me stepping out on There has been so many rumors about me and I got so many ops. I got so many ops. I got bloggers, there's ops. And oh yeah, yeah, and then she's saying this, right? Then she posted this on her little fence though. Hold up, I got it. She talking about I'm not Tasha K. <laughs> girl, ask Tasha K. She came, she could even lie on my girl. She could even lie. Ask her. Tasha K could even lie on my Why are you lying on my Hold up. She's talking about this offense. Good luck. You think I'm Tasha K. Many people thought this was strange because Jason is a talkative guy and he could have easily called Bea out for lying on camera, but instead he chose to leave it up to speculation. Because of this, people felt that there might be some truth to what B was saying. However, now that you have heard about this purported tape, what do you think about Bicardi? Do you think it is real or is just B trying to be messy? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, do not forget to click here to watch this other extremely messy video. Well, uh, Cardi said that Bia tried blackmailing her with a tape. Yeah, she talked about, uh, well, she said that they had had a conversation or whatever, or there was some exchange where she had talked about having some proof of a tape that was going to come out. With Cardi and Offset or Cardi and someone else? I don't remember. I, I, want, I don't remember. I think it was, she was claiming that Cardi messed around on Offset with somebody else. Okay. But they were separated for a while, so. Yeah, but Cardi's not that girl. You know, so like, if you got it, so she was telling her to put it out. But she threw the sword, but nothing came out. Um, I don't know Cardi. Hey, listen, when Cardi to sue you, you should pay attention. That's Tasha K. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Cardi's literally, if she's not with her kids, she's in the studio or she's like, she's the biggest introvert. She don't go outside the house. Yeah. I can't tell you. But if you have a tape on somebody, why warn them? Drop the I mean, you can't really drop a stick. Of course you can't, because it's revenge, it's all those things, legal things, but you could. If you, I, I mean, mean, you could give it to someone else, but if you drop it under your own account, you're, you're screwed. Gonna, you're, yeah, you're, you know, Hulk Hogan.